Super Dark Collective. We're back. Here we are again. Another episode of Super Dark Home Video Season 2.0. We had to turn our fans off so you could hear our beautiful voices. And it is hot. So yeah, as you can see now, we are floating around Shane's mom's creepy and potentially haunted doll collection. I love your mom's dolls. It's still a pandemic out there. People are still not following the rules. I feel like it's getting worse. And it probably is. Things always do. No, it definitely is getting worse. Things don't always get worse. This isn't normal. Don't get it twisted. (laughs) So this first band is a band that was slated to play a super dark show and unfortunately got canceled. Yeah, we originally had this band scheduled to play April 30th at Desperate Annie's. It's going to be a great show. The, uh, The flyer I made is a picture of the Pope decapitated holding his head. It was a great flyer. And uh, as far as the, the next video goes, I can definitely share the, the sediments for wanting to just beat the shit out of something. That's a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Here is K910. Everything is nothing.
This is dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we might need that hose. In a second. Yeah, we're gonna need it. Okay. Alright, ready for the hose? Oh! Wait. Put it out. Wow. Put that fucking thing out. Yeah, put it out, man. Brass knuckles, wow. Who even knows what those are anymore? K910 is from Philadelphia. Well, I totally agree with that title, especially these days. And that is from a single from Good Splits, which is a split release with secret nudist friends on Good How Are You Records. I may be wrong, but I have the sneaking suspicion that the guy whose effigy she's beating and stabbing and ultimately burning in the end is her actual boyfriend, and they get along just fine. Ugh. Yeah, and if you have any uh, nice, awesome, creative videos that you want us to talk about and show, superdarkcollective at gmail.com. All right, so next up, someone who's been in the Albany area doing music for a long time, producer and hip-hop artist JB, a.k.a. Dirty Moses. And this is a song called This Too Much. Just because of the tape. Beat shot. Yeah. yeah. One, two, one, two. Is this thing on? Y'all up? Are you awake yet? Okay. One take. Check it. Check it. What's the price for freedom? How much is life? A couple of million to the family, they gon' be alright. This shit is out of hand and out of control. And out of our hands, it's time to let them know When will we get a grip and fight back? I guess we're all too afraid that they won't like that That, rather me take a bullet than take a knee No justice from the judge's mallet, we'll never be free They're thinking we're stupid, but that's not me And if that's you, stay away from we They're trying to put hand sanitizer on open wounds A couple of band-aids to cover up what's done to you I'm sorry, I guess I never got the memo They're trying to kill my blackness but pretend to be my friend though Steal my likeness but ban my hair in school like it offends yo Appropriate my culture, when will the madness end bro? Somebody put a stop to this My best advice is that we all get on top of this Take it back to times when we all were pharaohs Or we wind up in a sarcophagus this too much, this too much This too much, this too much This too much, this too much Yeah, this too much, this too much Okay, this the only anthem you need to stand for, stand for. This the song you're singing when you demand more Cause we're crying and pleading yeah. Marching and leading, yeah. it's really what we need And too many out here bleeding uh -huh. Dying for wrong causes okay. Others out here dying from dirty drinking water Throwing the babies out with it Feeding us to the wolves Feeding us lies as usual Got us praying like fools Social media experiment uh -huh. Gauging our emotions No more interactions, just memes and emojis uh -huh. Weaves and tight clothing, naked eyes Viewing the naked truth, nothing else is sacred They're defiling our youth Taking away their childhood Making them soldiers, clothe them and feed them Brainwash them and mistreat them Shaking baby syndrome, psychological warfare Targeted from birth, public enemy Got us in their crosshairs This too yeah. much, this too much This too 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 much, this too much 
this too much, this too much. Yeah, this too much, this too much. Uh, wow. Excellent video by JB, a.k.a. Dirty Moses. That song and that video are works of pure genius. Ah, it just makes me think people like me should just shut up and go away. That was from the 2017 album Black Sun, released on Just Because Entertainment. Representing the, the beat shot uh, attire, we caught the last beat shot last summer down in Albany. Yeah, beat shot was a music festival hosted by DJ True Master and Lo-Fi Lobo that went on for, I want to say, well over 10 years. Yeah, yeah. at least a decade. Yeah, the music video features local Albany hip-hop artists, DJ True Master and Sev Static. Yeah, JB's been doing it for a really long time. We saw JB open up for Ghostface. We did. Right? Putting them down. And it was fantastic. Uh, before... We were the Super Dark Collective. Chris and I and a couple of other people collaborated on a audio-visual project called Ghoul Poon. And yeah, we played the first couple of Beat Shot festivals. That's right. I feel like this is a great time to kind of sneak in our uh, original OG stuff here. Damn, this shit like legit makes me want to cry. <laughs> it's so good. It's the I, I'm sad that I never got to see it, honestly. Yes, yeah, so this is Fatal Biology by Ghoul Poon. Or as Jay Crack would say it,
ghoul poon. Ah, who are those dopey kids? What was the weirdest comment you got from someone about that band? Name? The weirdest thing that I experienced was searching for ghoul poon, and someone had defined it in Urban Dictionary, a necrophiliac's wet dream or something. <laughs> That's from my album Bastard Sorcerer from 2010, and that was included on a DVD that Chris and I put together called 100 Psychic Dreams. Which featured uh, all music videos basically directed by, by Shane himself. Yeah, my concept for that started out as a really innocent folk Christian band. Like a traveling, yeah, Christian folk band. Shane told me that somewhere there's a recording of the song that he and Chris are actually playing at the beginning of that. I've never heard it, but I hope to someday. Yeah, I love this. I dodged a possum on the highway, and we got some really nasty head wounds, but we kept going, and we kept making music, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I, what I remember uh, about that video was, uh, you know, a guy in a pickup truck driving by and being like, you kids all right? Apparently I used to wear sambas. Not, Not as silence. comfortable as you would think. You can find the entire Ghoulpoon discography, including Bastard Sorcerer, online at ghoulpoon.bandcamp.com. So much music. I mean, we're still in the midst of a pandemic, so if you're really looking to kill some time and hear some interesting music... Uh, it should last you at least a week straight. Oh, all day. I actually want to read a, uh, a message I got from an old friend, Brandon Shanklin. Shout out to B. Shanks. You realize this new Kanye is about to sound like Ghoulpoon? I knew that shit was the future the minute I heard it. I hope you take that as a compliment. What I'm trying to say is that one of the, probably the most influential artists of our generation making music today is making music that sounds like the shit you were making, what, 15 years ago? Fuck Kanye. I was gonna say that. Up next, we have uh, our friends Paul and Jen, our favorite super dark couple. As you can see, we are floating around my mom's creepy dolls, and um, there was a time when she worked at a creepy developmental center in Wilton, and this music video was actually filmed there. This song is called Lewis Kahn, who is the name of a famous architect, and none of his stuff is featured in this video, but it's kind of paying a, a homage to him. Homage. Lewis Kahn, architrave. Not to be confused with architect.
Oh yeah, that is great. Architrave and architecture. Really interesting video, it shows off a lot of cool structures. Yeah, that was filmed at Skidmore, the Empire State Plaza, and the former Wilton Development Center, where my mom used to work. 70s bubble windows, what's not to like? She said it was extremely haunted. They would hear music from the 30s playing on the intercom. Lights used to turn on and off. Lots of fun stuff. Was that before or after your mom owned all of these dolls? <laughs> Honestly, before, I feel like. I don't know. Mm. I don't remember when or why these dolls started happening, but. <laughs> Shout out to Cindy. So, yeah, fucking architrave. <laughs> A really nice song and really cold, emotionless concrete. Jen and Paul are a new wave project from Balsam Spa, Apocalypse Dance Music. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what I would say, I guess. I mean, they also have a band, Haley Moley. Paul also has a solo project, Sync Charmer. And Jen also DJs as DJ Jennifer Haley. And they have two kids. <laughs> and they're still banging out all this stuff. They're super productive. Speaking of banging, oh my god, I thought that's where you were going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Put it in the show. Not going to edit that out. Super inspiring, productive uh, people. Dream couple. And yeah. That, I believe, is a, a new single, but they just put out a damn near perfect album uh, in April called This Perfect Day. The cover of the album is featuring photography by our own Gary Zeroli. All right, we got one video left for you. It's the opposite of a duo. Yep, it's a 15-piece orchestra. It's a wonderful submission that we got from a Hudson party brass band. Definitely one of the best quarantine Zoom meeting style music videos that I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Very, very fun and uh, well done. You might recognize the tune, but we'll call this one Quarantine Town. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, I think we got it. It's pajama yeah. time. Pajama time in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
I love the secret little cabinet in the tree there. Woodford Reserve. I'd be stoked if I found that. <laughs> Brass Kill, Quarantine Town, and homage to Ghost Town by the Specials. Great creative quarantine video. Ah, yes. Right after the initial lockdown a couple months ago, I was walking through the very empty streets of Saratoga, and I found myself singing this song out loud. And uh, I bet I wasn't the only one, because I'm sure it was true of a lot of places at that time. And even though that's not the situation that the song was actually about, it fit. That was a submission from Scott Marks from Brass Kill, The Chain Letter, and Leap the Dips. Shout out to Scott. Thank you so much for sending us this really awesome, fun video. Yeah, send us uh, your videos if uh, you've been busy making some. Send it over. We hope to see you soon. Keep tuning in, superdarkhomevideo.com. Happy Friday, or whatever day, because this is YouTube. Whatever day you're watching this. <laughs> Dorks. Peace. Super dorks. Mm. Fun times, kids.